In the aftermath of the attack on the Doctors Without Borders Hospital, a stunning military order from the top U.S. commander. I've directed the entire force to undergo in-depth training in order to review all of our operational authorities and rules of engagement. That order and acknowledgement that something went wrong. Rules of engagement spell out when and how the U.S. military can conduct airstrikes like the AC-130 gunship that hit the hospital. Doctors Without Borders says the U.S. knew it was a hospital. They were under attack for 30 minutes. It could not have been a mistake. Until we're told otherwise and until we see an independent investigation, we'll presume that this was in fact a war crime. Did this violate U.S. military rules? Even though the Afghans request that support, it still has to go through a rigorous U.S. procedure to enable fires to go on the ground. But there was no uh, Ford Air Controllers, American Ford Air Controllers on the ground. So we had a special operations unit that was in close vicinity uh, that was talking to the aircraft to deliver those fires. If the U.S. knew it was a hospital, did reports of Taliban firing justify the attack? We would never intentionally target a protected medical facility. Standards for airstrikes, at least initially, do not appear to have been met at the hospital. Military rules require U.S. troops are at risk. Contrary to initial reports, U.S. troops were not fired on. When the U.S. is going after Al-Qaeda, here it was the Taliban. When Afghans are about to be overrun, here the Afghans were trying to retake the area. Campbell said the overall security situation in Afghanistan is still so uncertain, he needs to revise his recommendations about a troop reduction. We have to provide our senior leadership options uh, different than the current plan that we're going with.